We are the nerds. We are the nerds of the apocalypse. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Trex over here at Nerds of the Apocalypse here at so the city comic con with the nice oh my god i actually felt it it's so nice <laughs> i'm here with two writers from caliber comics we have andrea who is the writer for the shepherd Correct. and we have charles chester haha uh, who's the writer for boy zero and so we're going to talk a little bit about what their books are so andrea i'm going to start with you the shepherd you're actually in your costume because i am cosplaying my own character yes so, and actually, I love your necklace for, it shows the staff as well. You're really all out with the staff. Yes, very much so. This uh, is called, is a pendant that the character is given in the course of the novel. And when he holds it the way I'm holding it, it becomes a large staff called the Staff of Truth. And it has multi powers, but one of the things, the most powerful thing it does is it causes a person to see the full ramifications of what they've done, the full consequences. So if somebody is a selfish or evil person, it is going to hurt a lot. Um, and it can be used at different levels of intensity. To the highest level, it can break a person's mind and cause them to be basically insane uh, with a, too much knowledge, basically. Wow, okay. So, and you wrote this book with your son. I did. My co writer is my son, Roberto. And the whole book actually, its origins is in a nightmare that I had about him. Uh, the, the basic storyline is centered on my own family. In my dream, I dreamed that my oldest son, Roberto, had actually gone to a party. He was supposed to go to a movie, went to a party, tried methamphetamine, ended up dying of a drug overdose. And I was devastated because Roberto and I are very, very close. And in my dream, it just kept going like this horrible roller coaster. I went to the funeral and I was going through all the grief. And in that grief and state, I began to uh, feel that my son was calling out to me from the other side, that something had gone really wrong, that he had not transitioned as he should and that he was in real trouble. And in my despair at that knowledge, I decided to take my own life and go after him to try to save him in the afterlife. And that became chapter one of the book. And uh, from there, it you know uh, the story unfolded. So that is powerful. Thank you very much. My goodness. And it's the first of a series. It's now become the origin story for the for the shepherd. The character's name is uh, Dr. Lawrence Miller. He's actually a, a professor, a college professor, and. Um, it became the origin story for a series that we're doing uh, with The Shepherd, and we're just about done. We've got 26 pages left of our second uh, volume, which is a 175-page novel. We've got about 26 pages to finish, and so we're hoping to publish by the end of this year or the very beginning of 2018. So That sounds incredible, and just dreams are just, wow. I'm really blown away by that dream. <laughs> well, I never had anything like it before or since. So I'm not, I don't want to give the impression that I have these regular dreams you know, <laughs> or anything like that. I was really shaken. I woke up. It was one of those dreams where your heart's beating out of your chest. You're sweating. And, and uh, you know, I was really upset. It took me two days to tell my son about it because I'm thinking, is this some kind of a portent? And uh, when I told my son about it, his reaction was not what I expected. He was like, Dad, this is so cool. We've got to do this as a novel. I'm like, uh no, it's not cool. <laughs> you died of a drug overdose. It's like the very definition of uncool. And, uh, and no, we're not going to do this as a graphic novel. This is horrible, you know? And uh, needless to say, he won that argument. He was just like, he did the Chinese water torture thing with a just drip, 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 nag, nag, nag. And, and finally, he was, we, I was like, for the love of God, okay, we'll sit down, we'll write it. And then, you know, we did it, we wrote it. And uh, then I thought I was, had him off my back. And no, oh, no, he's like, oh, determined we're going to get this you know, drawn and, um, and the rest is history we ended up published with caliber comics. So that is incredible. Well, Charles, you have, I hope you have a good story. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you so you're the writer for boy zero. Talk a little bit about that. Uh, boy, well, uh, in the vein of, uh, Andrea's, uh, it's not a light story. It's pretty, it's pretty dark, pretty heavy. Um, basic idea is a small town, um, in keep skill is uh, the children are being killed. They're being murdered. And the cops are at a loss. They can't figure out what's happening. Uh, so the kids kind of band together for support, you know, kind of like a loser's club, it sort of, uh, yeah. you know, style. Um, and they come up with this idea that the boogeyman came to town and the boogeyman is killing their friends. For me, horror is, is truly when, like, the protectors and stories like the the adults the cops and whatnot when they start to buckle when they start to feel like you know um 
safety is not here when, when like when true horror comes is when they break down so when the parents in the story start to try to explain it and they can't and start to um lend uh to the to uh, the belief that possibly something supernatural is happening um and the kids become the strong characters and take over and like go on a almost like a creature hunt to try to figure out what is happening and then when they do figure out what's happening, that's when I, I was hoping that I captured that moment. Um, oh, yeah. That really freaks you out. It's really yeah. creepy. <laughs> it's a really creepy book. You're reading it. Believe me, I love Boy Zero. I'm a big fan of Charles. You're reading it, and you feel your shoulders starting to do this thing, and you're like, oh, Lord, this is really creepy. I need to put this down and go do something that will take my mind off it because it's, like, it's a good book. It really is a good book. Well, I appreciate that. So, and so, Charles, you're based out of Philly. Uh, yeah, just outside Philly. Um, uh, that's where, like, I, I work out there full time, um, and uh, yeah, I do. I've been doing all my writing out there. So um, I've been working on a, a new series, and uh, like uh, Andrea, I'm hoping in the next uh, few months to start um, going to publish with it. Awesome, awesome. So you guys have really found your place here at Caliber Comics, then. Yeah, Caliber's been treating us pretty well. Yeah, they, um, you know, took a chance, and it's it's been great. I mean, we're here representing at the con for them, and they have a lot of other great titles. It's it's they they're good. It's creator owned, which is awesome. Yeah, I've heard heard so many nightmare stories about, you know, guys just having to give away their, you know, their their lifeblood. You know, like you know. yeah. When thankfully, with the power of the internet and a lot of resources out there, create your own comics or can really just be your own. And luckily, pl places like Caliber Comics are really shining out to that. Hey, this is your stuff. And we're just here to help. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, that that's pretty much their their credo. Yeah. It's been, it's been so, good. Andrea, where can we find the Shepherd online or anywhere they can buy it? Well, I, I th this actually goes for both of our titles. It's very easy to find. I mean, you can find us on Amazon. Okay. Uh, we, uh, you can get us through your local comic book store uh, because we've been featured in Diamond. And uh, Boy Zero has been in Diamond too, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so I thought, so once, you, once you've been in Diamond, you have a code, and you can get that code and then give it to your local comic book store, and then they can order it. Uh, of course, digitally, Comixology, drive through Comics, it's in Kindle, <laughs> et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There's lots of different places just simply by, you know, Googling it. Uh, you can easily find those places. And of course, calibercomics.com sells digital copies and hardcover or hard copy uh, versions of our of our books. Um, and you can look us up on Facebook in both cases. Boy Zero yeah. has a Facebook page, the yeah, Shepherd. Boy Zero Comic Facebook. I'm I'm on the hunt for more likes, so please. <laughs> <laughs> Me please. too. We always are. We always are. Amen to that. So uh, which con are you guys gonna be at so maybe someone out there could go visit you guys at the next convention? Um, I'm hoping to do the North Carolina Con. Which one? Which That's one? in November. November. Uh, oh yeah, NC Comic Con in yeah. Raleigh. Oh yeah. god, well, it's so good. Durham. Durham is it, the Bull City. Is I think what the the subtitle thing. Yeah, is. it's like Raleigh hyphen Durham. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that. They're actually comping us a booth, which God bless them. Thank you for that, guys. If you're watching this, thank you. <laughs> oh, NC uh, Comic Con is fantastic. Uh, oh, right. it's we're so good. You're to hyping it. me up. That sounds fun. Oh yeah, you're. I've been there twice so far, and they have just been. Yes, you guys have been great. <laughs> just <laughs> so so, and they love creator own comics as well. Exactly. They love you guys. I like to hear that. That's fun. Cool. I'll be going to Tampa MegaCon uh, coming up at the tail end of September, and then I'm going up to my. I'm originally from Michigan, so I'm going to go to Grand Rapids, Michigan, the Grand Rapids Con in October. Okay. Really looking forward to that. Uh, Grand Rapids is known for its microbrews. Yes, so they some are. Beer, some beer will be. <laughs> will be consumed. I'm I'm certain. I'm trying to talk him into coming with me for that one. So uh, yeah, do it. <laughs> it's not a hard sell. Yeah. Exactly. I was like, you had me at beer. You know, it's like there it is. You know. So. Well, thank you guys so much, and I can't wait to start picking up uh, and read your books because I'm definitely picking them up here at Soda City Comic Con. Yay! Thank you very much. Thanks for having us. So uh, this has been uh, Tracks from the Apocalypse. Thank you to Andrea and Charles from Caliber Comics, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks, guys. All right.